What's up, my fellow Flyers? Welcome back again to FPV Raw. This is going to be a short segment during the week. I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to stay stay on top of it here and, and just kind of give you something to kind of mulch on through your week to kind of finish it off and kind of wrap you, wrap you home, slide into home base, just, just bring her home. That's just a little something. I don't know. Uh, I figure it would help somebody out there, maybe give you an idea about some stuff that, because I use it here, I implement it here. In my shop, in my garage, oh yeah, I don't own the whole thing. And my wife owns the half of it, and I gotta play with the other half. So it's all I get. Anyways, I'm your host here, Ruben Hargi, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go into it. Um, I, I fucked up the first couple seconds of of me recording the other takes. I couldn't help it. I was rambling, and then I acknowledged that I was rambling, and I had to stop and record. So I'm gonna do my best this time. And not venture off into the dark realms of my brain, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stay focused, man. So, anyways, batteries. Um, and I was charging batteries here. I was getting ready to fly over the uh, the past weekends, and, and and have it have a couple batteries that I was gonna pull from, and you know, top them off, make sure they're good. Uh, the batteries are that are in my storage. They're in kind of like um, a, the storage state, so they're fine. Um, I bought a I bought a cabinet, um, and it's a it's a flammable cabinet, so it's it's safe. They're about three, I think they're like three hundred, three hundred and fifty or so. On I can get them on Amazon and in any McMaster car if you're in the U.S. or whatever. They can pick them out. It's a flammable cabinet. It's a, it's a real nice investment um, to get. Uh, fully enclosed. It's can it breathe can breathe a little bit, but it contains everything in case there is a. A fire, you can you can do that. Also, I got a, um, a fire extinguisher that's on my desk and inside my uh, battery storage unit. It's like Ghostbusters. Um, it's in there. But I wanted to just I, I put a fire extinguisher in there, even though if if it doesn't get that hot, but at least it's in there. And if it you know gets too crazy, at least the fire extinguisher will, will go off because it's a small, cheap aluminum one and. It's, very inexpensive but it's in there and then i got a uh a bottle of water in there too so if it gets too hot at least it would drench the bottom and kind of put out you know a little bit of the water um i have a smoke detector in the garage too just in case that i change the batteries frequently um but that's just that's just what i do if you guys are looking at a storage facility for your batteries or a makeshift one what i was doing before is i was using like a pan or some ammo cans, some some steel ammo cans that you know worked that would work pretty good. They're a thin wall, but it's something to contain the fire. So if you do see smoke, at least you have that um, extra amount of time to store them. But um, cinder blocks work really good. Um, some uh, sheetrock, believe it or not, sheetrock works really good to kind of give you a buffer zone around your 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 little area, and uh, especially. Um, for garages and wherever it, wherever you're located, it's always good to have an extra smoke detector just because, and, um, it, you know, if it, if it goes off, um, it's, it's, it'll alert you. And then you immediately grab the, um, uh, the fire extinguisher and then you can, you know, attack the flame if there is a flame or if it's just getting really hot, um, an extra pan, believe it or not, a cooking pan. Uh, works pretty good. We threw out some old cooking pans because, you know, we've, I've had them for 10 years and, you know, the non stick stick wasn't really non stick anymore. It was just kind of peeling off and it left a weird, weird taste in your mouth. It didn't taste so good at non stick stuff. It's a little funny. It gets stuck in your teeth and shit. But I, I was using that to kind of put the batteries in and then, you know, let them sit. But, um, you know, when I was charging, uh, before before flying because the weather is getting great um the rain hopefully the rain passes we're under the uh the spring and all that good weather and stuff and the pollen's out which is awesome the um you know it's starting to dry up but just a little bit there was some kind of hints of showers today but you know nothing happened 
But, um, you know, it's just charging batteries, getting ready to fly because the weather's good. And I, I got a, um, a tray. It's a, it's a metal tray that I charge on top of just in case. And whatever batteries I have, I space them out. And then I put the, the tray kind of in the middle of the garage or in the middle of, of an area with room. And uh, I just charge, let it sit on that tray and, and, and let it do it that way. So just because it's out of the way, you want to make sure everything is spaced away and, and safe. But I figure I would kick this knowledge to you. Hopefully somebody out there would, would uh, kind of realize that their area isn't, you know, the best for charging. So they, maybe they can grab some pans or elevate the battery off of the table, use some blocks, um, just to kind of protect the, the surface underneath. And um, sometimes even I'll pour a little bit of water inside the pan, just a little bit, and charge the battery in what's well, resting on the water. It's not submerged into the water, but just a little bit um, and, and then do it that way. But that's that's just me. I'm weird like that. Um, but who knows? Uh, especially smoke detectors are great um, if you're in an area. Just 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 because fire extinguishers are good to have. Uh, if you have a, a local store that sells them, uh, you know, so it never hurts to pick one up. So lipo bags are good. You can have lipo bags wherever you want, but you know, actual storages and and a metal container is the best bet. Cinder blocks or pans. If you have an extra pan, throw them in the pan. Elevate the pan. And, you know, give it some, um, you know, clearance around whatever, whatever the thing you have though. But yeah, just, just do that. I I figured it would help somebody out there, but the weather's getting better. Um, I got a lot of packs here. I figure I would kick some knowledge to you, um, stuff that I do on my, on my end over here and then repeat it back to you guys. So you guys can see it. Um, and because this is for, well, for me in this area in, in the States, and uh, it, it, it's, it's that time and everyone's going to be starting to fly. Um, everyone's probably going to, you know, rush to get their packs charged and forget to, that it is a, you know, a three cell or a four cell or, you know, the capacity is a little bit bigger and they, you know, they change something up just because. And, you know, just just charge in a different location is the best bet. Um, it's good weather, man. I did some chores over the weekend and I was uh, mowing the backyard. The dog was looking at me funny because I think she was she was starting to get paranoid because I was finding her little turd stash that's in the grass because the grass is getting, you know, it's pretty tall. It's as tall as the lawnmower wheels. But and she was staring at me funny like I was doing a bad thing. But uh, shoot, man, some of those little guys are sneaky. They were hiding in the bush and stuff. They couldn't really see them. So when I run them over with a the, with the lawnmower, you know, you know, <laughs> Oh well, uh, there, there. Lo, lo and behold, there's the little poop ninja sitting over there on my wheel. I, I crushed. So, um, definitely some good weather. I've noticed that the mosquitoes are out, and uh, you know they've been brewing over the winter and kind of like getting in the puddles and stuff. So they're they're floating around in the grass and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I can't I can't wait. This is a good season. I think this weekend is supposed to be like. In the seventies and around the seventies, mid seventies is supposed to be good. No rain uh, that that I seen in the forecast. I'm really happy. I, I want to go out and fly uh, because this will this will give me a time to go out and uh, and go hunt for some new locations. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the time, you know, I usually go to my usually go to my flat spot area, which is kind of boring, and uh, do some testing or whatever, and just do my regular routes. But it'll be fun to kind of venture out and kind of hit up some rivers and some creeks and stuff that are, you know, they're probably about a 30 minute drive from me, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be fun. And, and uh, um, I can't wait because um, it's, I got some new rigs that are finished finally. And uh, I have one that I've been kind of like putting along. It's it technically it could be done. Uh, it could be done, but I'm kind of just putting around with it. I want to keep it super tiny and light. Well, not tiny, but, yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit tiny. It, it's just, it's around two pounds. So if I add some, uh, some, any, any extra com, uh, components to it, it'll probably be around two pounds, but it's super light. And, um, if we get good weather where it's calm, then I'll be able to be like test fly it and, and, you know, see what's up, see how it flies on a really light system and, uh, do it that way. But, 
you know, when I go to these locations, again, talking battery safety on this, on this mofo, um, you know, I do have ammo cans that I, that I take with me. I got them at a, in my area, we have a Costco, um, they're ammo cans that, you know, they, they were selling uh, in their store. And so, you know, a lot of shopping, picking up toilet paper and, and, uh, big bottles of vodka and, and snacky snacks and stuff like that shit that I shouldn't be eating. But, uh, you know, I walked by the aisle and I was like, holy crap, they had some ammo cans there just sitting on the shelf. So I took a couple and, uh, they work great. So use that if you have them again, any kind of metal container is, is a good thing to do. If you want to travel light and you don't have that option, well then, you know, you're, oh, there's a mosquito that just landed on my, oh, mosquito that just landed on my arm. Um, I'm going to get that Ebola. Um, but you know, if you maintain your batteries, you know, to a good state, then you're, you're pretty much good to go in, in terms of traveling wise. Uh, or if you have a small car, you can access, you know, if there's an issue, you can pull over real quick and kind of chuck the battery out into the freeway or wherever. And, you know, hopefully it gets run over and put out. <laughs> just kidding. Don't do that. That was just a messing around. Um, but stuff like that where, you know, you, you go on a trip and you want to make sure everything's secure and stuff like that. But yeah, man, um, the, the batteries that I usually get, they're not the, the newest bunch. And just recently, um, the freaking battery companies, they're like, they want me to buy their batteries. They say, Oh, you buy, you know, buy, buy batteries or something like that. They're, they give me the, the, the capacity and, and what's in them. And they say they're the best. And I'm like, fuck dude, I don't know what the fuck. Like there's so many fucking batteries. I really don't know what to get now. Um, and a lot of the batteries that they do make that are real popular, they don't make in my size because <laughs> I'm, I'm the plus figure size. Um, but I get the bigger packs and again, these guys, they want, they want me to buy their batteries, but I don't know what they're capable of. So I'm not going to buy them, but I just kind of stick with the old cheap ones. Uh, good old hobby King is more than likely going to, uh, ship out some batteries or if I really need some batteries, I'll contact tattoo and, uh, I'll pick them up through them. Um, and just go ahead and just buy them and stuff like that. But um, some of the backs, I just had to retire a couple of them. They're pretty old. And I uh, just cut the wires uneven, not even, unevenly. And uh, set them in some salt water and they're dead. Like I put a, a, a battery, uh, I put a volt tester on a volt checker. And they're completely dead. So at that point, they're pretty much ready to dis- uh, to discard. So they're not going to, they're not a issue anymore because there's no voltage in them. But, um, yeah, good stuff. I, uh, was thinking about some, some things over the weekend and, and in terms of flying the, uh, you know, what to expect in, in, in my rigs that, that I have here. And I, I, I brought it, brought it up in the, in the past episode of, um, uh, of flying the, the juggernaut that I was, I was kind of like building and, and getting it flying, but. I was really excited that it that it it flew and and it performed really well considering what I've done to the frame and and added stuff and putting uh eight cells in in the juggernaut and having it work really well and still a mild system with full FPV capable um on board so I was just really really impressed with what I did so I'm I'm really happy that that it worked so that's one thing i was really excited about if you don't know what i'm talking about then go to my instagram page that's actually in the show notes that you can probably click on um and when doing that uh, I, what i realize is that the the podcatchers um podcast addicts is a app that you can get uh with, with any other with any phone really um and if you go to the show notes you can click on you know uh you know, all the links that I post up. I don't know if uh, iTunes does it or any other ones that, that can do it, uh, but you can click on the link and you, it'll take you right there to the page and I can show you what I'm talking about. But the the juggernaut that I finished is, is working really good. So I'm really, really happy. I will need to fine tune the rates because my low rates, because it's going so fast, are actually like medium rates. So I need to swap the lows into low lows and uh probably drop it down i don't know maybe like five another five clicks to uh set you know get to get good rates 
or not not clicks, but uh, the number percentage, anyways, uh, <laughs> um, and, and get it down that way. But it's working really good. I'm super happy uh, that it, it's performing great. I still have uh, a few more projects that I want to finish up. I still have to build uh, the drac here and get that sucker in the air. Um, I've been it's it's sitting right next to me. I'm not even kidding. It's sitting right next to me. That I, it's the spars are in. It's um, I got to put my drop my gear in there and get it going, um, and, and get it going. The uh, the other builds I had like a um a TBS uh or not a TBS uh TBRC sixty V two that I had to, I gave to my buddy. Um, so he's building that because I was literally sitting around. I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta keep doing stuff, but this one, I gotta finish this one here pretty soon. Uh, I don't have to do any layout. I can just like drop the stuff in. So it's pretty nice, but, um, yeah, I gotta do that. And I have a project that I want to work on somehow and get it going. But I, I fear that the, the room is, uh, is getting smaller in here. So I'm a little, I gotta think about how I gotta, how I gotta build this sucker. So. I can make sure I do my layout correctly on a flat surface and do all, all the, the cutting, cutting down correctly. But yeah, it's a, a lot, a lot of things that are happening in the background that I'll probably end up telling you guys later, not right now, just later, but stuff, right. You know, stuff that's happening, uh, give you guys a good, a good, wholesome, uh, earful of what's been going down stuff that I can't talk about stuff that I want to so bad i want to tell you but um i want to get more guys onto the show and so we can talk about you know safety and things that they do and things that they're interested in stuff that you guys might be curious curious on curious yeah curious but um you know and and just talk to more people i want to i want to do more um interviewing uh if i can because i'm 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 learning that it is a kind of a chore to do and it's, you know, you have to gear yourself up to do it. And it's fun because it's motivation for me to, to get, to break away my sh- break away from my shell and, and get people on and, and, and listen to their story. So if, if I haven't got to yet, don't worry, I'm going to work my way around and, and work my way to the list. Um, some people are in different parts of the country so it makes it difficult for me to, well, for me, some other guys can do it pretty well, but, um, I'm, I'm the type of guy where I don't like to, um, you know, constantly bug people. I, I just don't, I, I don't know why it just, because I like to be, you know, boring, but I don't like to do that. So, you know, I'm going to get more people on here, um, and get their, get their names on the list here of my, uh, my interview sheet. And, uh, you know, it's just good because, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, they have something they want to talk about or an event going on in their life. And, you know, you know, it gives them a chance to kind of vent and, you know, for us to listen to their story and do it that way. But I'm working my way downtown. (laughs) I'm gonna try to get everybody, um, as you know, in 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 a timely manner. So just, just, just relax. Don't go crazy on me. Don't email me and say, what the hell? What the hell, dude? No, I'm just kidding. You, you can email me if you want to. Um, I don't get too many, but uh, I'd like to. I'd like to check out and see what I got going on out there. Um, listeners, if you guys are bored right now, I'm sorry, but I wanted to do the batteries, and then obviously I ventured off. But it's it's a healthy venture off. I rambled um, and, and get stuff going that way. But um, yeah, I... I want to talk about batteries and safety and, and fill you guys in. And then I want to, you know, talk about stuff that I was doing around here, um, and get it going. But I, I do, I do enjoy doing this. Um, I'm, I was kind of thinking about like, how can I, if I'm gone or go on a trip or something like that, like how would I fill it in? But you know, since, you know, the way I'm doing it, I don't think it's really that big of a deal if I miss a podcast or, if I miss uh, a week or whatever, not a week, but you know, if if I miss something, I figure it's not going to be that big of a deal, but right now I'm trying to stay on top of the game and continue, uh, 
putting out content for you guys to kind of listen and and do your thing. That freaking mosquito is back. Son of a bitch. Get over here. God damn it. Um the I don't know how they're they're in here. It's it's warm. Like right now in the shop it's like 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a little warm, but they're flying around, man. They're freaking pissing me off. I tell you that they got the Ebola. It's they're going to suck on your brain or do something. You better back off. I got limited brain cells. They um Yeah, it's good weather, guys. Go out there and fly and enjoy enjoy this man this is great so if you're in a different part of the world where it's raining right now um ah that sucks but you know if you get a a good window uh of no weather you know take advantage of it go out there and you know run around naked it's great weather to do that right now in my area it's freaking great um so yeah i can't wait the uh, exploration time everything's growing everything's green i love it we had a we had a drought over here in in california which sucked old weird ass california the freaking retards are kept dumping out water for some freaking reason we had a drought and they're continuously dumping water out and i was like look guys if you let any more water out we're all gonna suffer and you know sure enough we did they don't listen to me but i'm just saying thinking of myself as a resident of the area fucking retards up there playing with the goddamn water um but yeah anyways i want to leave you guys here uh a little something that i thought was pretty cool it's a uh, on the youtube video of the week i'm gonna bring it back i found a video well i didn't find a video i i, I remembered it from back, way back when it was a sky hunter with you had a rotating camera fixture on top that the guys um secret spy 711 um made and it worked really good. It was freaking badass. I liked it. It was a good video. Um, believe it or not, what's crazy is when you have good content, the um, uh, you know, like a popular video, you don't get that many subscribers, which is really strange on YouTube. And you know, even me, I don't have that many subscribers on YouTube. We, you know, with putting out all the videos that I put out, but you start to see what people are actually gravitating to uh, more. F- people in front of the camera is what you know is really intriguing people so and and listening to their story while their face is in front of the camera it's a it's a very weird people are weird um you know in terms of youtube viewers but they like for some reason they like that shit um but yeah this is a really see i went on a fucking tangent again anyways this is a good video i'm gonna put it in the description and wrap this podcast up this little segment for the midweek for you guys to listen to and wonder why the fuck was i rambling off for so goddamn long anyways this is called 3 p v i sorry i plosived the mic my bad okay 3 p v f p v um a change in perspective uh the youtube person is secret spy 711 and uh, go ahead and check out the the video. Uh, I think they're a part of the COFPV. And um, yeah, check them out. Give them a like. Give them a subscribe. And uh, yeah, it's, yeah, go check out. It's a good video, guys. Very cool, unique, very unique. It's this basically this video inspired me to do my selfie shot for my rigs. And if you guys ever want to see that, go to the. Um, uh on my page my youtube page you can find me um it's the hawaii video that i did and the well the drone nationals hawaii drone nationals uh las vegas and the hawaii video and there's some other ones that are in there like the um the norcal trip fpv trip so go check them out uh check this video out for sure give them a like and a subscribe and uh yeah don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you're listening or whatever you know Hit that button. Follow me if you can. Show me some love if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, uh, that'd be great. And go check out my website if you want to buy a wing. Um, a little bit of self promotion here. Uh, I make FPV wings, and go check them out if you want. If you want to, you don't have to. Just check them out. Just just go look at. I don't get too many people checking out my page. Believe it or not, uh, I think the most I get in a day is like sixty something. Sixty. 
just under 70 viewers on my webpage. I'm not going to lie. Totally real. I don't get that much traffic. But if I did, I'd be happy. <laughs> so go check it out. Go check out my webpage, sweepwings.com. And uh, just take a look. If you like a sticker, I sell stickers for like 50 bucks. Not 50 bucks. I, I wish it was 50 bucks. I sell it for like 50 cents. You know, you can get an FPV. Po- oh, you know what? I haven't told you guys. You can get an FPV podcast sticker for 50 cents. I don't know how much it is to ship it or send it, but it's probably pretty cheap. It's, I got stickers here. Buy a couple of them, make it worth your wild. You know, buy a t shirt, buy a sticker, buy a keychain. I sell keychains now, guys. Oh, <laughs> cool. Um, I, you know, I don't know why I forgot about this. I posted on my Instagram, but I never told you guys, the listeners, uh, about the keychains. And then I have the new neck braces thingy. It's got the freaking, you know, the pad on the back, not the female pad, but the neck pad on the back, which is cool, which is, I think it'd be, it's really comfortable. It feels like it's like pleather or Corinthian leather. It's, it's good shit. It's soft. Um, what I'm thinking you could do is you can modify the neck pad and I, d- hear me out here. If you guys see anyone else do it, which I haven't, so I'm saying it right now. If you wanted to modify it, okay, the neck strap, you can hopefully buy it for me for 10 bucks. They're $10. That's all they are. And put your own brand, your own name, like, you know, you have a neck strap, hopefully sweepwings.com or sweepwings RC. <laughs> But you take the neck pad off and you put your logo on it. Think that'd be pretty cool. And then you can like put somebody else is going to copy me. Okay. Look, if you copy me, God damn it. Just let me know if you did. Maybe you can put me in on the deal. Um, give me something. You know, I'm just saying if you do it, uh, I should have said, I should have kept that to myself. Shit. I fucked up. But anyways, you can put your own name on the back of it on the neck strap and stitch it. And then sew it up and make it Velcro so if it gets all sweaty and nasty from your back, your your neck, your back neck sweat and that gross stuff in the summertime because it's getting hot, <laughs> you can Velcro it off, wash it, and, you know, we'll do whatever. Or put some, uh, put your logo on there, like your name, your your pilot name or your, your, your pilot, your operator name, you know what I mean? Your, your whatever you want. You can do that. You can pip it out. But I'm just saying, I got them here. You can make them and modify it, and you would be supporting me, and you can tell your friends about me, <laughs> tell your moms about me, but I just figured it was a cool idea. I was just thought about it, and I think it would be pretty cool if, you know, you could put your name on the back of it, you know? So I'm just saying, you're welcome. Uh, Yeah. Hashtag me in something. Just saying. Anywho, uh, video of the week. I was, I was stretching and I feel weird promoting myself. I really do. It feels, it feels awkward, but I figure I don't do it and I should do it because as a person selling products, I should do it. But anyways, uh, check out my hats, <laughs> my t-shirts. I don't, I haven't sold any t-shirts yet. So I feel kind of bad. I don't know. Anyways, check out the store, please. I get 68, 60, just under 70, you know, people checking out the website every, every day, which is pretty low i would like a little bit more which would be cool but anyways <sighs> see how i ramble off okay check out the video of the week secret spy on youtube 711 secret spy 711 on youtube go check them out uh video of the week and uh yeah guys until next time guys <laughs> i rambled off again shit okay peace later <laughs>